Hey everyone, it's Greg Flyshaker, Greg Fly to my friends, and I'm here today with a short video about changing out the crucible in my canned heat hot pot glass blowing studio out back. And here's a piece I have showing you just some of the, the stones and the pieces of crucible that were getting into my glass, so time to change it out. <clears throat> Sorry, first step, take the doors off. And this is just how I did it. I read the instructions, I had to make a few adjustments, but uh, took the doors off and then the next thing that comes off is that retention ring right there. So I put a little piece of cardboard in between that reinforcement bar and the edge of the, so that I could do it by myself. So I just let it down. It was actually pretty easy. Um, and I, I carried it over, rolled it over next to the doors. And this is what it looks like without the doors or the retention ring. And I need to bust out that crucible. Um, and you can see there's a, here on the right side, there's a huge crack in it and all sorts of flaking down there where the glass is. And you can tell, obviously, I've dropped a piece or two or things have popped off and look at that huge crack. Um, so it was just starting to be crummy glass. Um, I think I'm just gonna give you another look. You can see how much blue and stuff has popped off in there. And in the instructions from Canned Heat, it looks like they pretty cleanly, relatively cleanly removed the crucible. That did not happen for me, so. Um, the castable was pretty crumbly and just sort of popped out. There was some glass that leaked at the front. Um, really no glass leaked through that huge crack. So that was surprising. But I just busted it all out. And if the castable came out, so be it. And you can see there's a little bit of a gap there in the back. I'm going to fill that in. And there's a stone there on the bottom. The new crucible right there is going to sit on and pack around with some uh, new castable and i'm just trying to see if it fits right now it's still a little tall i don't have the right amount scooped out yet and that's the castable and you need to mix it with water i ended up using a five gallon bucket which i would not suggest pouring that much castable in go slowly do it a piece at a time and i used way too much water um, but so far i haven't noticed anything bad so covered the top up with uh, painter's tape and sort of packed the castable around it, put the retention ring back on. I don't think the retention ring needed much uh, much love. Put the doors back on. Those all still seem to be in pretty good shape. And then took the tape off. Well, I let it dry for a day and then vacuumed all the loose pieces off before I took that tape off and started using the Kugler Clear, the little disc. I had been using the bars. So using the little disc, I used 90. I counted and that's what 90 looks like in that. When I melted it down, uh, it obviously dropped quite a bit. All the air um, came to the surface and it settled in. It still looks pretty full, but um, that first fire really uh, took a while to get everything melted down. Um, and I didn't notice any hot spots on the outside. I'm not sure I did it 100% correctly, but it looks to be good enough. Happy to answer any questions if you have any, but that's how I swapped out the crucible in my canned heat hot pot. 